If you understand that everything is energy and what manifests here on the physical plane is a direct reflection of the collective human consciousness, then it will not take you much effort to comprehend what the COVID-19 is teaching us or why it is even manifesting in the first place. The law of attraction is really the law of mirroring. We have become a vibrational match to this virus at a collective level that is literally causing suffocation among the masses. With the dawn of 2020, as mankind turns a new chapter in this vision year, a huge paradigm shift is birthing in our collective consciousness. The way many things have been working in the world at large is suffocating millions with societies, governments, food industries, political, medical and educational structures coming solely from profit motives where success is defined by power, popularity, position and possession. This has ripped apart our sense of fellowship, community and belonging, creating much isolation and loneliness among people that literally we have attracted a virus causing us to self-isolate. People are suffering, wailing, ailing or dying in isolation. Even touching has become perilous. Not to mention that emotional isolation in our world today is a bigger epidemic than the COVID-19 pandemic. Social media has made us lonelier, turning people into narcissists. Technology on one hand is shrinking the world and on the other hand creating more isolation, thereby contributing to mental health problems, psychosis and emotional breakdowns. People all over the world are screaming for attention. Every small thing is showing up on social media as our collective shadows are coming to light. The parts of ourselves we have denied, deprived, decried are being revealed. Communication has become brief and curt as emoticons have replaced conversations. We have become desensitized to not only others' pain but also to our own. The way things have been going on, a breakdown was inevitable. So we can take a break, reassess our core values as a collective species and redirect our energies towards more constructive outcomes. This novel coronavirus in an uncanny way is uniting the world with a common theme, survival. And so the COVID-19 outbreak comes with hidden messages. You see, we tend to fight against everything unwanted in our human experience. Fight cancer, fight coronavirus, fight corruption. But these are reflections of our collective human shadows. The undesired outcomes are simply parts of ourselves that are unconscious, that show up so we can become aware of where we are hurting, what we are doing wrong, and bring those unknown aspects within us to light. Then heal and release them. Diseases too inform us of unhealed aspects in our subconscious. A dis-ease is a mind not at ease thus producing physical symptoms in the body. To understand this better, watch my video titled The Root Cause of All Diseases. Every day, thousands of people die from cancer, influenza, diabetes, heart disease, kidney failure, obesity, poverty and starvation but because those things are not immediate threats to humanity's survival, they are not considered epidemics. Every disease is a messenger. When our inner worlds are not aligned with our outer worlds, 
all kinds of disorders manifest in physicality. Because the external world is nothing but a reflection of what is going on inside of us, be it at a personal level or global scale. We are now facing a global crisis. The message of the COVID-19 is universal. It is waking us up. In our separation and isolation, we are actually creating more togetherness, closeness and oneness. In the face of danger or imminent threat, we awaken, rise to the occasion, grow, evolve, expand and become aware of who we really are, of what matters the most. It is time to go back to basics, back to what is really important, back to compassion, companionship, community and connection. Now more than ever, we need to express our solidarity, fraternity, equality and humanity. The virus doesn't discriminate rich from poor, right from wrong, good from bad. This is not the time to fight, separate or divide, but to reconcile, reconnect and reunite. In a strange way, the virus is already uniting people. I was heartened to see how the people of Italy, one of the world's worst affected countries after China, were coming out together onto their balconies, singing loud praises of their health workers, chanting in oneness and spiritual communion. This is a wake-up call for humanity. As our survival is at stake, it is time to become conscious and transmute our collective shadows, face our fears, get clear about our priorities and get centered. Clarity is the first step to wisdom, vision and change. 2020 has unlocked a huge platform of transformation and transition, bringing us together like never before. This is the time to reassess our priorities as a collective species, reevaluate our values, ethics, and beliefs, and recreate our sense of community and belonging. Happiness doesn't come from power over another, but from power with another. Take some time to explore what it means to be human, to become self-aware. The world has literally come to a halt so we can re-evaluate our priorities and social skills. Take a break from this rat race. Breathe and be. Patterns have been interrupted. Routines have been disrupted. Hidden agendas and belief systems have been shaken and a vast space has opened up for us to become aware of our true needs, wants and desires so we can make the necessary shifts in our lifestyles. This is time of great purging, cleansing and dispensing of that which is garbage, that which is dysfunctional. The old is falling apart and a new reality is birthing. It is time to awaken, awaken to ourselves, awaken to our actions. We are energy beings. We have within us the ability to interact with the invisible forces of the universe. You can feel the energy of everything around you and more profoundly if you are an empath sensitive to the energy field of the planet. My suggestion to empaths, light and shadow workers and highly sensitive people is to use this time to open up to heightened intuition, connect with your higher selves or spirit guides, transcend your belief systems and ascend to higher realms of consciousness. 
These are times of great change in our human experience. However, the visible changes are very subtle. More revelations are entering our consciousness. There is so much more to life than what meets the eye. It is easy to die, but more difficult to live with purpose and inner vision. Don't give in to the collective fear right now. You are here on earth at this time for a reason. Find your life purpose and passion. This will call you to open up your consciousness and use this phase as a catalyst to propel your spiritual growth as you decide how to show up in the world and express your creative gifts. Today, more than anything, we need empathy and sensitivity. Take the other person as a part of yourself, not apart. Expand your definition of the self. Extend your compassion to not just fellow humans, but also the plant and animal kingdom, because we are all connected. This forced isolation is not necessarily a bad thing. Use this phase of quarantine to get in touch with yourself, to be unconditionally present with yourself, to know yourself intimately and nurture your inner world. I am not suggesting meditation, but simply being present with yourself, becoming aware of what is going on within you. Allow your thoughts, emotions, feelings to pass through your mind without resistance. Watch and observe what is going on inside without judgment. I know many people will find this very hard to do. Their first impulse will be to distract themselves with social media or Netflix or anything that takes them away from themselves. But if you can nourish and replenish your inner world, the outer world will reflect that. There is so much discontentment, discord, disorientation, disconnection between our inner and outer worlds that we are literally becoming dangerous to ourselves. It is of our highest benefit to align our inner and outer worlds so as to create balance and harmony within ourselves first, causing inner evolution because the external reality is a direct projection of our inner reality. It is time to be authentic, transparent, honest and genuine with ourselves and with others. So if you can take a few minutes each day to spend time with yourself, to be silent with yourself, to be mindful in a state of non-resistance, miracles can happen. Even if it is for a minuscule moment in time, the world as a whole is uniting in the face of the impending danger this novel coronavirus poses for humanity. Will we succeed in combating its threats? Will we be able to control it or will it go out of hand? It will depend on our choices, actions and decisions now as it has always been. The future is never written in stone. We are writing it as we journey along this time-space continuum. Before concluding, here are some things you can do physically to stay safe and healthy during these turbulent times of uncertainty. The best way to protect yourself is to make sure your immune system is in top gear. If your immune response is strong, you can resist the virus or recover from its effects. The virus can be dramatically slowed or even stopped by the widespread use of high doses of vitamin C through supplements or intake of superfoods such as acai, kamu kamu, rose hips, berries like goji berry, Indian gooseberry or amla, 
blueberry, blackberry, cranberry, strawberry, raspberry, cherry, fruits like lemon, orange, tangerine, cantaloupe, grapefruit, kiwi, mango, papaya, pineapple, watermelon, etc. Consume lots of turmeric, which is an excellent immune booster. Ginger and condiments like black pepper keep you warm inside. You can crush raw ginger, boil in water and drink it at intervals through the day. Feel free to add honey and black pepper to it along with a dash of lime to strengthen its potency. Ginger water is great for alleviating cough and respiratory disorders naturally. Probiotics not only ensure good gut health but also strengthens the immune system. You can take supplements or consume natural yogurt, kefir, kombucha, etc. Maintain personal hygiene. Touch things with gloves or plastic and wash hands frequently. Avoid public places or socializing. Minimize physical contact with others. Also avoid touching metallic objects or anything for that matter in public places. If you can't go out to exercise, try intermittent fasting. This is a great time to start healthy practices and make lifestyle shifts. Fasting reaps equal benefits as physical and mental exercises. It also produces more ketones than ketogenic diets, boosting brain power, causing cellular regeneration, keeping you young, agile and healthy. To learn how to fast properly, watch my video titled The Benefits of Intermittent Fasting. Stay in warm, well-ventilated, clean environments with fresh air and lots of sunlight. Get in touch with your body. Connect with your root chakra and ground yourself. If you have a patio, backyard, nearby park or safe ground where you can touch natural soil, like sand, grass, mud, or even hug a tree. This is a great stress buster, neutralizer, and health booster. The idea is for your skin to touch the earth's skin. To learn more about this, watch my video titled The Healing Nature of Grounding. Make sure to get lots of sleep. Catch up on lost sleep. Sleep is great for regulating circadian rhythms and replenishing the body's natural immune mechanism. Whatever you do, do not panic or stress at this time, which will achieve nothing but weaken your immune system. This is the time to rejuvenate your energies not exhaust them. Take warm salt water baths to de-stress and clear negative energy. Avoid fast food and junk food as they are a drain to the immune system, causing inflammation in the body. Also avoid sugar at all costs if you wish to maintain strong immunity. Eat hot foods, soups, broths and drink herbal teas or warm water to stay hydrated. Avoid cold foods like desserts and ice creams right now. Try to cook with organic, cold pressed 
olive, coconut, mustard or sesame oil and avoid highly refined vegetable oils like canola, cottonseed, corn, soya, safflower or sunflower oil that contribute to inflammation and impair our natural immune response. Get long-lasting yet nutritious foods like nuts and seeds, dry foods, olive oil and coconut oil, lentils, legumes, pulses, beans, chickpeas, brown rice, quinoa, buckwheat, millet, plant-based foods, herbs and condiments, pastas and bottled sauces, longer-lasting veggies like onion, garlic, potato, sweet potato, butternut squash, pumpkin, etc. and store in your house so you won't have to go out much. You can also keep frozen vegetables and fruits for long term. And most importantly, stay safe. Namaste.